Hello everyone, back to the lessons. Uh, today we have what? We have, uh, we have Estonian. Okay, we have Estonian. I've been, this week I've been working a bit on uh, imper imperfects in Estonian, uh, which are the, the past, You're saying like I did this, I did that, I went to the doctor, I went to school, stuff like that. I've been working on those, so I figured that uh, while, I'm, while I'm learning, why not make a video, you know, why not make a video and share my knowledge with you guys, or those of you who are interested in learning Estonian, okay, so I've been working on the, imperf the imperfects, okay, so I'm going to basically, this is going to be the first video, I'm going to make a, another video, um, the second video is going to be talking about the um, irregular, the irregular imperfects uh, for the he, she form, okay, so let's just go over here, let's just go over the basic imperfects. So here I've listed all the personal pronouns. We have ma, me, sa, we have ma, me, sa, you, for, um, that will be for plural. Uh, no, 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 that's for singular, sa is for singular. So sa, ta, for he or she, te, you for plural, me, us or we, not, or them or they, okay? And basically, this here seen the see um, the uh, for the imperfect is basically si. Okay, it's si. You're gonna put si. Um, you're gonna put si right before the personal pronoun marker, depending on which personal pronoun it is. So for ma, it will be seen because the n is for for ma for for me. Okay, so it'll be seen. So sing for ma, seed for sa, and just a s for ta, site for te, me for si me, and seed for na. Okay. So um, here I have I have an example here. Ma casing aratsi yuris, ma casing aratsi yuris, and that's that means I went to the doctors. I went to the doctors, I went, went to the doctors, okay? And as you see, K seen, seen here, because K, K seen, I went, okay? So, um, let's take a look at the second one. So let's just, um, let's take K seen and put it with the uh, past, with the other form. So K seen for Sa will become become K seed. Okay? And will become K seed. And ta with this S, it would just be case. Just case. He or she went. Te si te will be K C te. K C te. Okay, and for C me will be K C me. All right, and for not K C. So that's how you. So that's how you uh, form those with the with all of the uh, personal pronouns. Okay. So these are all imperfects. These are the, these are the um, standard imperfects. Now, as usual, uh, you have your irregular forms. They have to, they have an irregular form. They have irregular forms for the he she, for the he she forms. Okay. And uh, I could I think I have enough. Yeah. So these are all the. Um, these are all the uh, imperfects for the, all the personal pronouns, ma, sa, ta, te, me, nad, okay? And essentially, it's just si, depending on what personal, what personal pronoun it is, Instead of, uh, except for the uh, he, she. That's just going to take an s, okay? Everything else drops just an s. So here, case, he or she went, okay? 
Now they have, uh, I'm going to make another video. I, I mean, it seems I have enough time to do it now, but I'm just going to go ahead and start the video over just in case I start talking about it. Use, just because I use a lot more time to talk about, to explain um, certain parts of the uh, grammar. But uh, yeah, there are, in, there are irregular forms for the he and she, okay? But it all depends on what um, the ending of the word. I'll show you guys that in the next video, okay? So these are the past tense, the imperfects for these personal pronouns, okay? So those of you who are studying Estonian, now you understand these are the, these are the uh, imperfects. And I would recommend make sentences, make uh, basic sentences, uh, just to get practice with these, with all the uh, personal pronouns, okay? So uh, once you master those, then you move on. That's, that's what I do. I work on it for a week. So I've been working on, I've been working on these imperfects for uh, pretty much during the week, this week. So, uh, I'm trying to get used to everything because they have a lot of irregulars. And, um, that's interesting. It's fun. It's the fun part. Is the irregulars. You have to, you know, become accustomed to those irregular forms, and remember how they um, <clears throat> how they change according to the to the uh, personal pronoun. So, pretty difficult, but fun at the same time. All right. Well, uh, that's pretty much it for this part. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to make the second part of the video. To talk about the irregular forms of the uh, imperfects. Okay.